And without further ado, here in the top left, we have, the, of course, the yellow Protoss from Team Alien Invasion. He is CPU. And in the top right, we have the green Protoss. He's Grubby, who is going to be going for something like a proxy gate. Um, funnily enough, CPU initiated conversation just now, which is something you would usually expect from a player that goes for a cheese. But now Grubby is getting his work done for him. That's always the way, isn't it, in StarCraft? Especially when you're laddering and you sing, then you go like, my opponent mm. asked me how my day is. What is he doing? What yep. is he trying to do? <laughs> oh, sneaky man. stuff. Very sneaky stuff. And uh, up goes the pylon. And <laughs> it, it's almost ironic seeing CPU initiate conversation. And uh, yeah, he's actually rallying his probe towards his opponent's base. So he's going to go for a scout directly. And he is missing this proxy pylon here. Of course, the scout is quite early, actually. Uh, he goes for a scout before his first pylon. And this will allow him to spot, you know, relatively in time what is going on. Ah, uh, CPU. Oh, Same. he's gonna cannon rush him? This is, I don't think I've ever seen a game. A cannon rush via proxy 2 gate. Well, okay. both players are being so everly nice to each other, wanting to meet up in real life and <laughs> go know, for beers. Let's have some beers, everything will be good, we're so buddy-buddy, and both are just like stabbing each other in the back while they're doing it. It's... Yep. This is... This is nasty. This is... <laughs> oh my god, these two. So, uh, yeah, Cannon Rush versus Proxy 2 Gate. Well, who wins? Um, I, I think the Proxy 2 Gate... And, uh, it depends on how they deal with it. Like, if, ca if CPU okay. can get Cannon up in range of the opponent's Nexus... If the probe survives for Grubby, Grubby wins. And the okay. reason for that is because cannons oh. are stationary. Yeah. The worst grub he could do if he keeps his probe alive is a draw, where neither player can win. But as long as he's got enough minerals to make another nexus, his zealots can kill everything here and go and remake. Whereas the cannons, they're never going to move. So even if it takes 20 minutes, grubby can eventually build an army that can kill off cannons easily. In come the zealots now. CPU has to micro as best he can. He's got a gateway cancelled. Oh, big surround here actually yep. on the zealots. Uh, at least one of them, but still none have fallen. And now Grubby's like, oh wait, there's a cannon in my base. Um, but he's actually killing a lot of probes here. Uh, but he has to focus on killing this uh, this phonon cannon as well. You know, he's on a bit of a timer. He is, but he's got more zealots coming in. The probe count, very low on both sides. Grubby just winning that. If he focuses the cannon now, he should be able to take it down in time. And the zealot will easily be able to survive. Only oh. three probes remain. Grubby taking some damage on his Nexus, but no, CPU doesn't have enough money to make any more cannons. Yeah, GG's called. And an early one game up for Grubby. Very early. 